know why it's still there. Let's see here, Tim. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Madden 21 franchise here with the Tennessee Titans. Uh, like we said last episode, we're coming off a 37 to 6 win over the Denver Broncos. If you also remember from the last episode, we released Ryan Tannehill, who went two for seven throwing under 30 yards, and replaced them with a 61 overall rookie quarterback, Cole McDonald, who went 20 for 31. I think 220, two touchdowns, and then he got a rushing touchdown too. So he's got his first career passing and rushing touchdown in the same game. 221 for two touchdowns. Kaepernick is now leading Denver's offense. Derrick Henry 20 for 181 with a touchdown. There is guys 8 for 36, and then Cole McDonald 2 for 8 with a touchdown. And I think the touchdown, if I remember correctly, from the last video, was a four-yard rush touchdown. So, with no edits made since the first episode, we're going to quickly hop right in to this Week 2 matchup against the 0-1 Jacksonville Jaguars. The first division game of the season. Now, last episode, we played the first and third quarter. And we send the second and fourth. We're going to do that. But we did individual play simming for quarter two and four. We're just going to sim the whole quarter. And just check the stats out at the end of the game. I will be playing defense this game. Last uh, last game against the first episode. In the first episode I didn't play defense. I'm going to play defense in this one. And we're going to do a full simulation of 2 and 4 and not going play by play. And Cleveland at the bottom coming to win by 21. So we're going to get the ball first. And we're only one yard deep. I'm going to take it out. Adam Humphreys the return man. Adam Humphreys. Yeah, it's at 23. Oh, two extra yards. And here comes Josh Rosen. What? We did not find Josh Rosen. I guess the, I guess simulation kind of signed him for us. I'll have to make that. We'll keep Josh Rosen, but as a backup. Okay, I want to see what Cole McDonald can do. And he obviously is not doing that bad. His first game, you know really nailed it so it's gonna be Josh Rosen's the backup and will possibly start if McDonald can't compete to the full potential I think he's capable as coming off you know going into the game in the second quarter only up by seven and managed to pull away with 30 more points with help from the defense only letting up Six more points, two field goals. Uh, field goals in the beginning and then the end of the game was a field goal for Denver. So in between there was really no scoring. And Cole McDonald is going to hit John Brown. I love the blocking by Adam Humphreys. He's kind of walking off. So I think I'm going to get a water break now. First down for Cole McDonald, a 21 yard reception. It wasn't the John Brown, it was the AJ Brown. So many Browns as Marquise John, Antonio, AJ. And we're going to aim to the top, back to AJ Brown for a 19 yard touchdown from Cole McDonald to AJ Brown. We're going to sim extra point and kick off as we lead 7 0 with 4.53 left of the first quarter. Even with a little nickel blitz. Dory Jackson, we're going to use him in the blitz. And Fournette has a star ability. 
And oh, the first play on defense. Jonathan Joseph picks off Gardner Minshew and is tackled by Leonard Fournette at the nine yard line. Jonathan Joseph gets his first pick of the season and returns it, almost returned it for a touchdown, but Leonard Fournette stopped him and Derrick Henry is going to get stopped at the line for a gain of one. The goal here is to try to get Derrick Henry a rushing touchdown. I don't see it coming as we just get an eight-yard passing touchdown to Adam Humphreys. So we've only had two receivers, both of them with two receptions. A.J. Brown has two receptions and a touchdown. And now Adam Humphreys has two receptions and a touchdown. And we're going to come back on defense after the pick. Jonathan Joseph doing some big things. They're going to run the ball with, that's not Leonard Fournette, that is Christian Thompson. Who, you correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, is now the starter for Jacksonville since Leonard Fournette left. But we are going to blitz and we're going to send everybody. And Leonard Fournette gets the play action. And Gardner Minshew will complete the pass for 18 yards to his tight end, well, John Oliver. We almost had him, but I went after the running back because I was, thought it was a run because it was so short and the way they were lined up. And Thompson's going to get the ball again. Second and six, a uh, running. Uh, you know, can you buy it? It's going to come down. It's going to be a pass play. We're all going to be screwed because we've got to help over the top. Oh, well, would you look at that? A pass play. Right back to John Oliver, who's going to get a 43-yard receiving touchdown to not tie the game, but get him down by 7 points pending the PAT. So it's 7-14 Jacksonville, as we actually just simmed the first play, but it was an 8-yard gain, so I'm fine. With 2.20 left, it is 17. It's 7 to 14 Titans as Derrick Henry gets a good first down gain of 9. So we are going to go a little pass here. Oh, a cut. Oh, dropped by AJ Brown. And I should have looked. I was kind of curious where uh, McDonald was drafted at. He wasn't the first round. He was probably like one of those late rounders or like an undrafted one. Who right now it's going to lead the Titans to one. Let the Titans to one hell of a victory. And it could possibly be leading them to, you know, a huge season run. After a great catch by John o. Smith. Who we didn't see much of last week. Despite the amount of, the amount of points we put up on the board. I can't say it was five touchdowns because it could have been. Uh, we had two rushing, two passing. I'm pretty sure we kicked quite a few field goals though. As that ball is almost picked off. almost It was almost caught by Adam Humphreys. Almost picked off by the two defenders. And then John O. Smith almost just came up with a clutch catch. But it's third and five. And I'm liking this, I'm liking this. And A.J. Brown with his second touchdown reception in this game. McDonald's third touchdown pass in this game in the, his fifth in not only his career, but in this season. It is 21-7 with 47 seconds left before we sim the second quarter and see how simulation plays it out. And, yep, you're going to run the ball. Because I should know. They've only run the ball with Chris Thompson. And they've never run it with Leonard Fournette. So if I see Chris Thompson back there, I'm just going to assume it's a run. Of course, now, this is going to be like the one time. Oh, no, it's a run. I was right. Even though the blitz didn't, well, kind of hauled him up to a one-yard one yard gain of a third and five. So we're going to end the first quarter with a third and five. 21-7, Jacksonville trails. The Titans are up. Soon to the next quarter. And Jacksonville scores. 
And we do too. Jacksonville scores again. We got a field goal. And we come into the second quarter up by 10. Jacksonville scored two touchdowns since the simulation. We scored a touchdown and, uh, and a field goal. We got 10 points in quarter two and they got 14. And they're going to run the ball. No, no, they're passing. And we, oh, Gardner Minshew. Somehow managed to throw that one away. Gardner Minshew has thrown two touchdown passes and two picks. So someone else has a pick on this Tennessee defense. I don't know who because we simmed. All I know, Jonathan Joseph had one. And we'll check at the end of the game to see who got the other pick. I don't know what the stats are looking like for Cole McDonald right now since we have better an offense since prior to Sim. So we'll definitely see if he's on his first career pick or not and what we're looking at. There's second and four. And first down to I think that's DD Westbrook. And Jacksonville has an injury. Justin Taylor, one of the linemen, are on the ground right now. We're going to blitz. Yeah, it was D.D. Westbrook on the reception. Oh, they're doing some non-jet sweep with Leonard Fournette. That's only his second rush, and one of them was a rushing touchdown. So he got a rushing touchdown. For like a short yardage, I'm guessing, because that was a pretty decent run. Oh, we could have picked that off. I can't remember who 17 is, but we could have picked that off. Uh, Clark. But, uh, yeah, if we got a friend that, that would have been a third interception for Gunnar Mishu. Defense ain't doing so well. We might go back to just saving the defense. Which is what I think we're going to do. And, of course, 50 yards. And Jacksonville scores and makes it a three-point game. 31 to 28. We're just in the four minutes left. We're going to open up the pass just to kind of check on Cole McDonald's stats. I like the press coverage you're playing. It sucks it doesn't work on me. And it sucks that A.J. Brown's going to get his third touchdown reception of the game, so we don't even get to see that. I mean, I guess I could have paused the game and just taken a look. I'm going to look at the yards wide 72, 288 yards, and four passing touchdowns. Three to AJ Brown, one to Adam Humphreys. Has he thrown any picks? Is my question. I'm going under the wrong thing if I want to look at. So he's already thrown, I'm trying to think, 60, 67 yards more. And no, he's not thrown a pick yet, but he's already thrown for over 67 yards more than in the game against Denver. So now it is 38 to 28. We have just got back up by 10. And defense is iffy. It's, got, it's having its plays and then letting up some Big plays, and now Jacksonville makes it a seven point game with a field goal. It's now 30 to 31 with 40 seconds, 47 seconds left at the third before we go back to Simming. And this lead is not very comfortable. It's not as comfortable as it was against Denver when we were up by a lot. So Cole McDonald, Cole McDonald's got some speed. Man. Second rush for 16 yards. He's got some speed. That's all I got to say. And we're going to dip it off to John O. Smith. Possession catch first. And now we'll end quarter three with Cole McDonald over 300 passing yards. And let's see if we can hold on to this lead. And we score. And we do. We successfully beat the Jacksonville Jaguars and get our first 
division win of the year 41 to, I think it was 30 they just got in that 30s 32 34 it was 41 to 34 so we won by seven Cole McDonald. <laughs>